going to be breaking down some of my editing for a video that we recently made for a local clothing shop. I used a bunch of different overlays from AE Juice throughout this video, so check them out if you're interested in picking up some quality assets to further stylize your edits. They have a bunch of different free and paid asset packs and plugins for whatever NLE you're using, so I'd recommend checking out their website and seeing what they have. If you decide to buy anything, you can help us out by using our referral links, which I'll leave in the description. To start off the video, I used this punch hole and cigarette burn overlay set to the add blend mode. The asset looks pretty good right away, but there are a few things that I do to add a bit more character to it. On this adjustment layer, I've added a zoom blur to create a motion blur looking effect. I also duplicated and blurred the asset to add a bit of glow. And finally, I used the offset wheel to push some orange into it to match the whole burning theme that I used throughout the video. On this first shot of the store sign, I did this light sweep effect just to add a little bit more flair. To do this, I put a mask around the sign, tracked it, then luma keyed it to isolate the logo. From there, I just cranked the gain and added another mask which is keyframe to swipe across the logo. Throughout the edit, I used these film burns to add a bit of flair and energy to the video. I got this film burn from AE Juice's old film constructor pack which I use quite a bit. I typically throw film burns and light leaks on the add, lighten, or screen blend modes, but I suggest you try out some of the other options and learn how all the different blend modes work. For these next 5 shots, I speed ramped 5 different orbits to make all of the clips look like they were flowing together. Before even shooting this video, we plan on shooting multiple shots with similar camera movements to achieve this effect. For this hyperlapse sequence, I used a film frame overlay and a film perf overlay, just because I felt like it would perfectly match the style we were aiming for. The sound design also helps sell these clips. For this transition, I magic masked my subject and then keyframed him in from the left side of the frame. I added motion blur and also added another punch hole and cigarette burn overlay underneath the rotoed out clip, which adds a bit more depth to the effect. Throughout the edit, I also used the simple zoom blur transition a few times. On this adjustment layer, I've keyframed the effect to zoom in on the last few frames of the shot. Then, on the next shot, I keyframed the zoom blur from a negative value back to zero. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and let me know if you'd like to see more tutorials or breakdowns like this. Thank you for watching.